In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear turn signal bulb on your 2019 to 2020 Hyundai Elantra. It's a pretty straightforward process, so let's go ahead and get started. Open the driver's side door and pop the trunk, the pull on the trunk release over there. Now go inside the trunk and get the flap out. Once you get the flap out, keep it somewhere safe. We gotta take off those two nuts over there. Those are 10 millimeter nuts. And also get this wiring harness out of the way. Just push it in there. Get a 10 millimeter nut or a socket, either one works. And get those two nuts out. All right, and keep them somewhere safe. They're gonna come handy in the next minute. Now, if you're gonna try and just push the light out like this, Try it from your wiggle it there. Try all you want, use all your might. No matter what happens, it doesn't come out. Well, don't worry. I'm gonna show you a trick that I figured out when I was making this video so that you don't have to struggle with it like I did over here. So you will need a hammer for this. It looks scary, but it's not. Just get a hammer, right, it's a small one. Now get those nuts and put them back on the reverse way, right? So the back side is on the front now so that the flat side of the nut is outside. Just put the nut in a few threads. You don't want to hit on the stud itself. You only want to hit on the flat surface of the nut. So just get the nut in a few threads. Now, start hammering. And I'm not going to fast forward this part because I want you to see that it takes a few seconds. So if it takes a while for you as well, don't worry. That's just the way it is. So keep on hammering and keep an eye out on the studs. You will see that it pops out. Come loose, pops out right there. See that? Now I'm just gonna get those nuts off. Push the light in a little bit, get those nuts. Let's not forget to get the electrical connector. See where my finger is, the index finger? That's where you have to press down. Press down, pull it out. Out it comes. Now that's the light right there. At this point you should be able to just go out there and get the light out. It's easy as that and one and two those two studs went over there then there's two holes for the alignment pins and the fifth one over there let's see where it goes on the tail light those are the two studs with the nuts on those are two alignment pins and that's where the slot was now on the light the orange bulb holder the one right there that's the one for the turn signal grab it twist it left like that and the bulb holder comes out now you see the black o-ring over there Yep, that's the one. Make sure you don't lose it when you're replacing the bulb because that O-ring prevents moisture from getting inside the light. To get the bulb out, all you have to do is just grab a towel or something, push down on the bulb and twist it left and out the bulb comes. The single filament bulb, it clearly states the replacement bulb type number on it, 1156. That's the bulb number, 1156. That's the one you have to get. So 1156A, A is for amber color. Get the new bulb, push it down, twist it right and you're done. Put the bulb holder back into the light there. Make sure it's sitting flush like that. And then twist it right to lock it in place. That is good. In order to put the light back in, again, those are five things. Those two studs, two alignment pins, and the one slot, and the wire there. First, let's just put the wire through the hole there. Snake it through. Now, get the light in position like this. All right, just get the light in position and start pushing it in. While I'm doing this, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to keep an eye out on the studs from the inside of the trunk to make sure that the light is aligned. See the studs are coming in. As long as those two studs are coming through the holes there, the entire light should be aligned too. And push it in a little bit. Get the wire. Put the nuts on. Now when you tighten the nuts back on, you may have, feel some resistance because we hammered on those threads over there. So there may be some deformation, but you'll be fine. You will feel just some resistance, but that's pretty much it. So get the wrench or the socket, tighten those nuts, then push the light in, tighten them again, tighten them all the way. Now let's put the electrical connector back over there. It only goes in one way. Slide it in and click it in place. There it is. Let's not forget to put the flap back on. And that is pretty much it. See how easy the whole process was? If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. 
Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.